Tonight, a 26-year-old man is behind bars accused of killing his own girlfriend. The murder happened last night in Rancho Cordova. CBS 13's Heather Jansen is live tonight from that neighborhood, hearing from neighbors who, Heather, interacted with this couple. Absolutely. Well, uh, neighbors tell me they saw this man get arrested right here in this driveway just last night. It's an event that shocked this community and one they're still coping with today. Okay, she's been declared. Killed in her own home, the brutal beating of a woman in this quiet Rancho Cordova neighborhood rocked this small community Wednesday night. Neighbors like Mike Hasty heard the crime unfold from just next door. And I did hear him like some commotion in the house, like him cussing and making some noise in the house. But um, right after that, the police pulled up. He's going to be a 26-year-old white male, six foot, approximately 200 pounds. Sacramento County Sheriff's deputies listening in too, getting their first description before they pulled up to who they say was 26-year-old Nicholas Brinelson. He had blood on his nose and blood on his hands. Hasty relived. Living what he saw when he says Brinelson showed himself to deputies. Deputies say Brinelson told them things got physical before his girlfriend was found dead. Now Hasty and many other neighbors are still processing all they witnessed. And we all grieved and talked about it, and you know, luckily he was apprehended quickly. These neighbors can tell you after a couple years living here, no one saw it coming. Sacramento County Sheriff's deputies said they hadn't been called out for any reason over the last year. They've usually been really, really quiet. The way they looked, you couldn't tell they were a couple. Though nothing seemed suspicious beforehand, we're told there was always something about Brittleson that caught their attention. When I saw him outside, um, I was leery to even speak to him. Um, he gave me the creeps a little bit. Well, Brinelson now faces murder charges in this. He is expected to be in court tomorrow to be arranged. And as for the woman involved in this, uh, we are still working to learn who she was. All right, Heather, thanks so much for that live report.